All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Verbling. Today we're going to be working on, well, not working, but discussing um, some serious topics of debate. Uh, this is a debate class, so come prepared to talk about euthanasia. Um, we'll go over what euthanasia is and both sides, and then I want to hear what you have to say about it. So, uh, if you have a reservation, go ahead and feel free to use it now. That would provide you with a spot in class. Uh, you can get reservations by doing a couple different things. You can either like us on Facebook, you can refer friends, you can watch a simple video, uh, you can pay a premium price, and you can sign up with us through Facebook. All those get you um, either one reservation to unlimited reservations. So, um, let's see. Uh, Vincenzo, can you hear me? Vincenzo, can you hear me okay? Vincenzo, I can hear you. Wait a moment. All right. Excuse me. Okay. I'm trying to keep out the noises. Okay, thank you. All right, well, welcome, Vincenzo. Yeah. How are you doing? Ah, fine, thank you. And how are you going to... Uh, uh, your things going? Uh, things are going very well for me. Um, it's almost the end of school, so I'm very, very excited. At the end of school, uh, when it finish? Then um, is, it, it is going to finish. It will finish in two is weeks. It's going. Mm -hmm. In two weeks. Okay. Yes. Do so, you mean? Uh, do you mean? Do you mean not this school, not this? Oh, not no 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 not Verbling, uh, but my uh, my university. I will graduate what you are right now. Yes. You are going yeah. to another school. Are you going? Uh, so I am. I'm going to no. university right now. So I will graduate soon. So I'm very very excited. All right. So we've got a full class now. Please listen to the topic. Important question: What we are going to face? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's. Uh, I'm going to see if everyone can hear me. Okay. Um, so Vincenzo can hear me great. Uh, Sebastian, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, it's been a while. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? All right. I'm great, thanks. Okay, next up we have um, Peter. Peter, can you hear me? Um, Peter, I'm not sure if you can hear us, um, but try fixing your microphone and then feel free to join. Okay, next up is Mehmet. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and Conrad, can you hear me? Um, Conrad, I'm not... I'm not oh. Hello. Hello. All right, I can hear you now. Perfect. Okay. And next up is Ismail. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. I am hearing you perfect. All right. Perfect. And Angelina, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Okay. Perfect. And Akshon, can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right. And Abida, can you hear me? Affirmative. Perfect. All right. Well, let's hope that Google works well and that none of us get kicked out. Um, I'll start with a simple introduction. Uh, my name is Troy. I am a student right now. I will graduate soon, and I'm very, very excited to graduate. 
So, uh, Abida, could you introduce yourself for us? My name is Yunus Abida. I'm second year in the University of Muhammad V, uh, Rabat. I'm living in Morocco, and I'm doing these classes to improve my English level. All right, cool. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, next up is Akshan. Can you can you introduce yourself? Yeah. Mm. I, I, I work as a financist. So, and I, I graduated. All right. Anything, anything else you want to know, I can ask. Oh, oh no, any, anything that you uh, want to say is fine. No, I just don't. Know. For example, how, how old are you? I, I get interested in it. How, um, how old are you? Oh, how old am I? Uh, I yeah. turn 25 next month. Really, but you are graduating just now? Yeah. I'm. Yes, I've I've uh, had a couple a couple adventures living abroad for a couple years. So yes, uh, I'm, I'm yeah. graduating just now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. That's your advice. All right, next up is Angelina. I am Angelina from Armenia, 23 years old. I have graduated from the university, uh, but at that moment I don't work. Okay, all right, well, welcome to class, Angelina. Thank you. Okay, next up is Ismail. Hi, Troy. Hi, guys. I am Ismail. I am connecting from Turkey, Ankara. I am a public servant. All right, and next up is Conrad. Conrad, can you hear us okay? I guess not. Um, Mehmet, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm from Turkey. Um, I'm 25, and congratulations, Roy, for your graduation. Well, thank you. All right. Um, and Peter, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, hello. My name is Peter. I'm from Poland, currently based in Poznan. I work as a computer programmer. I'm 32 years old, and I have an avid interest in English. All right. Cool. Well, thank you for joining. Thank you so much. All right. And Sebastian. Hi, Troy. Hi, guys. My name is Sebastian. I'm from Santiago, Chile. And I love nature. All right. Cool. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and welcome to class. And next up is Vincenzo. Can you introduce yourself? Hello. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I'm from Rome, Italy, and I try to improve my English in my conversation, <laughs> in my listening in English language. I'm trying and I'm studying English also at Rome in another institute, and uh, and now I'm with, with you <laughs> in order to improve my English. I I am I. Uh, I do. How do you say? I, I retired in uh, 1996. I worked uh, in, a, in a telephonic company, like a, a computer programmer, uh, as as a computer programmer. And now I don't work anymore. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. All right, we've got quite thank a uh, diverse thank you class. You. A lot of people from a lot of different places. So, um, today what we are going to be debating about is a very serious topic. Um, has anyone heard of the term euthanasia? Yes, I have. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Um, so, euthanasia is... Um, well, who, who would like to... Who would like to explain that? Um, who would like to explain to everyone what euthanasia is? Can I? Can I? Yeah, I can. Sure. Uh, 
allora, uh, euthanasia uh, is when uh, there is a, a person suffering with a very strong illness that uh, it's impossible, it's impossible, or they think it's impossible to, uh, how do you say, curare, uh, to, um, how do you say curare? Uh, to um, heal or to um, cure? To, to cure, yes, to cure. Uh, so uh, they think with Asia to uh, get to keep out this person from his suffering, for her or his or her suffering, uh, without uh, <laughs> let us say let us say killing mm, in mm, parentheses. I don't know. Uh, uh, kill her with a soft, uh, soft, uh, the soft, soft. Uh. Yeah, no, that's uh, Vincenzo. That's a very, very good description. Um, so what it is, just like you said, it's to assist someone with, um, well, with essentially with um, dying. You know, it's if someone is in a lot of pain, then it's important. You know to try and limit suffering, uh, but some people are very, very strongly opinionated by um, whether this should be made legal or if this should not be legal. So, um, today in class, this is what I want to discuss. Um, I have a simple um, I have a simple New York Times article and so I just thought we might want to read that t together. Um, maybe not together, but um, this is it's a good article that I, I, I liked. It's um, written by um, a person who had to um, who wanted to do euthanasia for for a grandmother who was suffering. Um, so I'll post this link. Um, there are many, many New York Times articles that talk about this, but um, so there's in different countries. I know there's different laws. Um, in the United States, where I'm from, you it, it is illegal to do so. Uh, there is one state that is famous for doing this. Um, but I first off before before I start, um, I want to know just very basic um, what what everyone thinks about euthanasia. We know a little bit about it. What does everyone think about it? I think it oh. oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Um, I think there should be legal depending on the case of the of the situation of the person, I think. Okay. That you have you have the power of make your own decision about your life, or may or sometimes mm -hmm. about some relative life. Right. Um, so, what, uh, Sebastian? What are some things that? What are some qualifications? that you think euthanasia is okay or it is not okay? Um, what, I'm sorry? <laughs> Again? Um, so what are some, uh, do you know the term qualifications? Yes. So what are some qualifications that make euthanasia okay in your mind? Or what are some things that would, you would say, no, that is not okay? Um, because what well, uh, Vicenzo said that people are really sick with a really, for example, I'm cancer sorry. could be, yeah, and they suffer. I mean, they are suffering a lot with pain and psychological pain, physical pain, and that's that's not a way to live, I think, and so. <laughs> That's why I say that from my perspective is it should be legal in that cases. I mean, you cannot, if I'm suffering, like my entire body is, 
it's dying actually. I'm and mm -hmm. I'm getting I don't know, I have and not just physical, it's, it's just psychological also. I mean if you if you are dying mm -hmm. you know, if you know that you're dying, if you know that you have like two months to for leave to leave mm -hmm. uh, oh my god, I think that is awful to think that you're going to die. I mean we all know that eventually we're going to die, but we mm -hmm. have, don't have a date for that. But right. if we are suffering to get to that point, really suffering, and I don't get the po I don't, I understand. But okay, All I right. cannot understand if you don't. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> no. That. Thank you. That's that's. <coughs> uh, so, who who disagrees though with Sebastian? Who thinks that euthanasia? No, that people should naturally take. The the course of what life gives them. Yes, I think uh, same with your teacher. Okay, go ex explain what you feel, Ismail. According my religions and my thought, uh, God gives the lives, and only God can get uh, the lives of people. As human, we couldn't kill anybody. If he suffered from a serious illness, I think. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I understand what you mean with that. But what if someone, what if someone does not, um, well, for instance, um, I mean, you you believe in your religion, but there are other people that don't believe in any religion, um, and so yes. do you think that that's important for um, legal matters to what what matters in a religion, or what what do you think there? Yes, uh, there are uh, many parameters in this subject uh, who are affecting. Uh, this subject, there are uh, legally aspect, cultural, religious aspects of the subjects, mm -hmm. but uh, not just only my religious belief, it is my thought also, uh, because uh, we don't create any uh, life as human. We cannot create a human, and we don't have a right to kill them. Also, uh, we have to try to live them around your uh, natural life until he goes to die. Hmm. Even if he suffer from and uh, from a serious illness, I think. Hmm. Okay. All right. So we, we have. <coughs> organize Lego. Right to organize, I think. Hmm. Okay. You can organize. Um, Angelina. The... Per Perhaps, uh, perhaps the the question, the problem of euthanasia, euthanasia is a, uh, is a, a early a, an early problem because in uh, last year or ten years ago, I think there wasn't this problem. The people are going to die naturally. Mm -hmm. uh, Today we have we have pro, how do you say prolonged prolonged a prolonged life in, prolonged life with medicine. So uh, there is always a how can I say a, a person won't won't try uh, that his parents is relative in uh, their relative relatives. Uh, uh, 
any other person that that he loves that he loves to to go on with his life mm -hmm. at, yes. at any cost at any cost yes the problem no. the problem is the problem is when uh, the medicine is uh, useless mm -hmm. uh, when uh, the medicine is useful this is that's the problem we we can't go on to how do you say to guarire to heal somebody uh, till the end uh, when the medicine is not uh, necessary uh, this is that's the problem but who can decide if when a medicine is useful or useless hmm uh, 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 so uh, and all and another thing is uh, when uh, it's possible uh, to decide when person ha has to die or not to die mm -hmm. or not when there is the possibility that one day it will be possible to heal this man or woman with another medicine or something uh, okay uh, okay uh, Okay, yeah. go on. No, I, 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 no, 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 what you said makes very good sense. Uh, it sounded like there was a lot of comments that, that people wanted to say. Um, Angelina, what, what were you going to say? Uh, I don't uh, agree with, uh, Ismael's, um, with Ismail because I don't, uh, if, if doctors don't give any hope, uh, why um, uh, white relatives uh, must uh, Termed the dead people, dead ill people, men. Uh, because uh, when doctors don't give any hope, and they uh, they said that um, he will not be uh, good, he will not live. Uh, live. Why we must uh, mm -hmm. terminate him? So you Teacher, think that it, uh, uh, Troy, yes, may I yes. say something? Yes. Um, we yes, cannot know. We cannot know. Maybe uh, in the future, the science, the uh, doctors might find any cure for a serious illness, and there are uh, many samples who are sleeping in the intensive care unit two or three years and they are going to wake out and they are going to home but we torment that man there are there are many samples in the world maybe for example the doctors can find cure for cancer in the future can you say it, this? And um, how can you? How can you say? Sorry, I just want. Yeah. I want. Um, I just want to get other people involved in this as well um, before we continue with this. So, Action, what what do you think about this? What are your thoughts? So I uh, I really don't have any concrete um, decision about the. It, it, well, how can I pronounce it? Uh, euthanasia, yeah? Mm -hmm. Euthanasia, yeah. Euthanasia. But I think that in a world everything has a, uh, has a good, um, good side and bad side. So if we use euthanasia in a good way, so I think it's normal. And uh, if if mm -hmm. we use in a bad way, it's a uh, it's a abnormal. Yeah, the so so. It depends on the situations, I think, all, always. So I can say that euthanasia, we, we, we have to cut euthanasia, I can say it. But I think that uh, in some situations, it's normal. Okay. So, uh, I, I, I read from the internet that some philosophers also said that euthanasia, we have to use euthanasia, but, but you said that uh, in, in USA, there's only one state, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just using the internet. So for me, 
I think it depends on the situations. Okay. Interesting. So far, I don't have a concrete um, decision about it. Okay. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe after this class, <laughs> I have luck. All right. Um, okay, so Joel, can you hear us okay? Uh, Joel, you joined our class. Can you hear us? I enjoy. Oh, perfect. I am, I am yeah, from... All right, I welcome. welcome. I, uh, I am learning English just one year. Oh, okay. I don't know you speak um, very well. Well, you are um, totally welcome to this class. Um, so, Joel, do you know uh, the term euthanasia? I don't. I'm sorry, I don't you know. understand. Okay, so um, euthanasia is something that when, uh, for example, if I am very, very old and very, very sick, and my body hurts very, very badly, uh, if I want to die, then I can tell the doctor, or my family can tell the doctor that it is okay for me to die. So to not take pills or to not take medicine but just to uh, die sooner than later. Does that make sense? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Oh, it's okay. Um, so it's when a doctor is okay to kill someone because they want to pass away. They want to die. Here Is now, here now, it's a very, it's a very horrend. I don't know now, it's very now it's here, because, because the horrend, está chovendo, está está chovendo muito em mim país. It's raining. Oh, okay, thank That's you. That's why he cannot listen. Oh, okay. Yo no puedo entender muy bien. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Joel, just go ahead and just listen to the conversation, and uh, I'll, I'll try and ask you questions later, okay? Okay. All right. Um, Conrad, are, yeah. can you, you can hear us okay? Um... I disagree with the Tanasha because it creates an artificial life. People all the time are full with suffering, um, with problems. Um, for me, I am Catholic man. I believe in God. God is the unique who decide if you are okay or not to mm -hmm. to die. For that reason, I am against. I disagree with the Tanasha. It's only keep an artificial life. If people don't could, couldn't talk, couldn't feel, couldn't say nothing. For me, it's a real problem. Mm. So, so you think it's an artificial life? Then, so I, I'm sorry, I couldn't understand fully what you were, um, what you were saying. I heard that you were Catholic and that you, so you do not disagree, or sorry, you I, did. I, I, I did that. Okay, my point is the unique, the unique who could decide if you are alive or or not alive. It's God, not the doctor. Mm -hmm. In this case, the doctors are create an artificial life with medicaments, with that kind of things. I believe that uh, God could decide decide if you are that or not, not the doctor. Okay. So you, okay. So you disagree then with? Yeah, I, I agree to create artificial life or or not. It's only okay. the course of the life. It's normal. You die. No, continuing to live for for quite a while. Mm hmm So that's what you disagree with. Okay. Interesting. So she, he. He doesn't agree that a person is suffering can decide from a 
he herself for himself to die. He, he okay, yeah, that's what I'm understanding too. Do you understand uh, or not? No. Uh, I mean that uh, if a person that is suffering for a long time can decide for his life to to live to live or not in in Edwards. Did when I... she is suffering a lot, if this person can decide in advance to be not heal, 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 heal. Yes. This is another problem. Another question. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a good. That is a good. Another good question. Um, but first, I, I do want to ask uh, Mehmet and also um, Peter what they think about this. So Mehmet, what do you think about euthanasia? What are your stats? Um, I don't think it's euthanasia is uh, logically and morally fine. It's, it's not a good thing, I think, because life is full of joy nice. and also is full of pains and aches. If you are living a joyful life, if you are living a happy life, oh, it's okay. But if you're not living and if you are living a life with pains, it's a problem. And I don't agree with this idea. The life includes both pains and fun, joy. That's my idea. So you think that life is both, you know, it, it needs to have both good and bad? Yes. Okay. All Definitely. right. I understand, Matt. Thank you. Um, Peter, what about you? What do you think? Yes. Okay, guys. Uh, firstly, um, when we talk about euthanasia, uh, the first thing what uh, which comes to my mind is um, actually when a person uh, suffer so much you know that I don't know um, can can live without with, uh, with that pain okay mm -hmm. I mean let's say that you know um, she or he is uh, suffering from cancer, maybe, and uh, some painkillers doesn't work anymore. Okay, and this this in this situation, I'm sure that uh, a lot of people wanted to to you know somebody to do anything to stop the agony. Okay, mm -hmm. and there is also another situation when, for example. Uh, someone had an accident, terrible accident, in which uh, the brain stopped working, okay, mm -hmm. and only body works, you know, and this is very, very difficult situation because, you know, family will probably do everything to, you know, to, how, how to say in English, uh, to let this person live, okay. But uh, actually, this situation is when you know somebody actually died. When your mind died, you're mm -hmm. actually dead. It's only a body. So what we should do in this situation? Do, do you want to? I don't know. Keep alive uh, your corpse or, or something like that? Because you know there is no option to recover your mind because because your mind were was destroyed. You no, know? so. In in this uh, in this situation, I think euthanasia to some extent will be uh, appropriate. You know. Okay. But, yes. but you know, there is also an aspect about uh, aspect of the religion. You know, mm -hmm. and and beliefs uh, in something, right? Yeah. No, I definitely. I. If, yeah. I know what you mean. It just there's there's. Too many aspects or variables to say very easily what uh, what the answer is. Um, very good. 
Uh, all right. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I have one more thing. Yes, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, man. Okay, thank you. Uh, committing a suicide is bad, and killing someone is, of course, the ugliest thing on earth. Everybody agrees with me. Mm -hmm. But killing a person because of his pains is a good thing. Why everybody thinks so? I think it is also bad. Instead of making that person uh, a, the, the of killing, uh, we can make him think positive things. We can psychologically make him better instead of making him think worse things. Mm -hmm. So I understand, Mehmet, that's a very good point. Um, but what about, this is, this is what Peter touched on, what he said is, if a person, say that I'm driving and I get in a very big car accident and my brain is dead, like there is no brain waves or anything showing that my brain is active, right? Okay. All right. So in that, that case where my body is still alive but my brain is dead, then what what about that you know should should my family still want to keep me alive you know should they still want to pay the hospital expenses and bills for me for my body to still breathe Does right. that make it's, sense? A, it's a difficult question okay but uh, we are we we have heard lots of news about these facts there are some miracles, you know, some people miracles. go in a coma, coma, and then they turn back to the life after some time. Mm -hmm. And doctors can't explain that thing. It's hope. I'm talking about hope. Okay. Interesting. Okay, uh, I wanted to say something. Go ahead, Sebastian. If you don't mind. Oh, uh, or, sorry, there's a bunch of people. Um, so, uh, sorry, Conrad, could you go first and then Sebastian will take you right after? I think it was Peter. Oh, sorry, Peter, was that you? I'm sorry, it looked like it was Conrad that said it. Oh, oh yes. go ahead. Sorry okay, about so, that. Okay, um, I, I know, um, um, no, okay, okay. Come on, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to talk about my, my experience mm -hmm. with this. My grandfather was really, really sick, like, two months ago. No, like, one month ago. And he was in the hospital. There was a lot of old people there. And one in particular, one in particular was really sick. I, he he suffered like a heart attack and and a, well, he was in a coma. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that you can feel about that a person was, I mean, you can watch the body, but he was not feeling anything. He was breathing, but with a machine. You know, he was. He was not actually breathing by himself, but also you can see the family suffering right next to him. They were sitting there crying, not knowing what to do. So it was really hard to, to watch. But euthanasia here is illegal, but there is a hole maybe. <laughs> In the law, the doctor say, "Okay, you can bring your husband to your house, but that means that he will die in like two hours or less." So, the family accept that, and they took to the house, and I I don't know, but I guess that he died like in one two one or two hour later 
and I think mm, that okay. is the course of life. Just go. Just do what you have to do. I mean, the family. Okay. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. That um, that's definitely a very, very valid point um, to make. So uh, there was no euthanasia uh, with the doctor here. Mm -hmm. You know, but it was kind of similar. Right. Yeah. Uh, I've heard about very similar case. You know, it it was a ver very, very, very. Uh, famous case about a man who was actually paralyzed his body was paralyzed he he could move only with his eyes or something like that mm -hmm. and there was uh, the situation and with him was that uh, every everybody uh, I mean literally everybody left him only our I think only his mother uh, Mm, was taking after him, okay, mm -hmm. and and actually he asked government for help. You know, he he wanted somebody to to make euthanasia on him, and the the government re reject mm -hmm. rejected. Okay, okay. However, he was suffer so much. And uh, that he decided to starve himself to death, and after a week, maybe or two weeks, he died because he starved himself to death. Interesting. Uh, that's that's very that's very sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, so he, that you know, it seems that he didn't have to. Uh, I'm sorry, he didn't have to suffer so much if the government do, d did something, right? Let him mm -hmm. to you know. Take the take took the in, injection, right? Mm -hmm. Something. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's a very. Uh, it's a very. You can see what I mean, and that it's a very debatable topic. Um, sorry, I just want to. I want to welcome uh, Thomas and also. Uh, oh, it seemed, I thought someone else jumped into the class. Um, but Thomas, can you hear us okay? Yes, I'm here. Alright, perfect. So right now we're talking about a thing called euthanasia. Do you know what that is, Thomas? Yes, to let people die in... Uh, Very in good. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. um. Yeah. So, um... Peter, what you said was something very interesting. I thought of this movie. Um, this it reminded me of this movie when someone was able to only move their eye. Um, uh, not to ch change topics, but this was a very interesting movie that I would suggest for everyone. Um, can everyone see the link or the um, what I just provided the uh, title of the movie? Yes. Okay, I'll provide the link. It's on IMDb. Um, it's in English. It's called the Diving Bell and the Butterfly, and it's very, very similar to what Peter just mentioned. It is about a man who lives through a very, very bad car accident, but he's only able to move and blink his left eye, and so it's a very. Uh, a very deep and um, heart-wrenching, as what we say, heart-wrenching story. So, has anyone heard this term before? Heart-wrenching. Uh, heart-wrenching. So, to wrench your heart, it's, you know, it's, it's like someone is just pulling on it, or wrenching on it. So it, it hurts very, very bad. You just feel so bad while watching um, something like that. That is a heart-wrenching film, or it is a heart-wrenching situation. It means it's very, very sad. It's, uh, it evokes, it causes a lot of different emotions. So, um, so to slightly get not off-topic of euthanasia, 
But um, here it's another question, though, about um, what to do with elderly people. Do you think that it is the responsibility of, of the children to take care of their parents? It's similar. It's not the same, obviously, of euthanasia, but it's another point of debate. Do you think that it's okay for children to say, oh, you need to go live in a home for old people, or do you think the children should take care of their parents? What does everyone think about this? Um, <clears throat> um, let's start with Conrad. Um, oh, and you are talking if the children or the mother of the children's dad, dad um, no, so what I mean to say is if if um, your parents right now, Conrad, um, if they're still alive and if they're starting to get older and older, is it your responsibility to take care of them? Oh, for sure. It's your responsibility. It's your yes. obligation. They care you where you are a child. It's your obligation. Okay. Okay. Because um, some people feel that it is okay to just have their parents live in a small community of only old people. Uh, is I'm, I imagine they have this in Finland. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many people do the same situation here in Finland <clears throat> because the people don't have time to take care of the old old. Oh, father, mother. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that um, you think it's okay, though? Maybe in some situations, if people don't have time to put them in those homes. I don't know if Conrad can still hear us. Conrad, can you hear me? Okay. Um, so let's. What about uh, Ismail? What do you think about that? Do you think that um, retirement homes or old people homes are okay to put your parents in? No, I didn't. I don't think uh, like this, Troy. Okay. It is not good to send uh, my father and mother to a retirement home. Or it is same. It is same for me to send them or uh, to put them in the street like a rubbish. They they brought me up. They uh, have uh, uh, many things uh, about me. I have some responsibility. Mm -hmm. to them. They are my father and m mother. Not responsibility, my... Uh, I want to make this with love, I think. It is not responsibility. Okay, so you don't feel it's a responsibility, but you want to make that decision because of love for your parents. Yes. Okay. In my that. culture, and my thought is like this: it is not an uh, household, or uh, it is not a uh, homework. Mm. Okay. Um, to send them to oh, go ahead. retirement house, uh, mm -hmm. send them die in a short time. It comes to me like this, maybe I speak a little uh, offensive. Mm. Okay. Um, action, I, I want to know what you what you think about this. When, when your parents get older, um, do you think it's it's important to take care of them yourself, or you you feel that it's okay to put them in a special home? 
retirement. Retirement home. Yeah, it's a retirement home. Yes. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. Can I say something? Can I yes, say something? I think that uh, as long as you can, you you should uh, have your parents at your home. If if you can't resist in order to take them to your home. You have to take them to a retirement home, but I prefer to take them at my home. Mm. As soon as, as long as I can. Okay. Um, so, do you think there are certain situations, Vincenzo, where you think it is okay to put them in a retirement home, or no? Yes, I think I think so. Yes, there are some situations where you can manage. If you can manage uh, uh, the situation, manage the situation. I think you have the duty to heal your parents mm -hmm. in a right way uh, uh, to offer them a a better situation. This is, I think this. So okay. in this case, in this case, it's possible to take them in. Uh, I think in uh, in other uh, another space, another uh, home where uh, they can be uh, cured, can be healed. I would say heal, uh, uh, heal. Heal. Yes, that's correct. Okay. okay. All right. I understand completely what you mean, Vincenzo. Um, Sebastian, what, what what do you think about uh, retirement homes, and what do you think? Do, what do you feel about the obligation uh, to your parents? I don't think that is an obligation. I think that it's up to you. I mean, in in my yeah, I'm going to talk about my experience, of course. Yeah, go for it. I will take care. Of, yeah, I will take care of my parents if, where they get old, they get older, because like um, I don't know who said, but they take care of me when I was a child. So it's mm -hmm. not about ob obligation; it's about feelings, you know. But I think that I'm a, again I'm agree with Vincenzo. Sorry. Um, sometimes people are, are really sick, old people are sick and it's better to to put them put them in something like like an object. How can I say like to to well, yeah you can place you can place them or you put yeah if you put someone somewhere that sounds like you are are totally in control and in charge of them, but if um, you, I don't know, place sounds a little better, but it's still kind of like yeah. they're an object, <laughs> uh, but to place someone in a retirement home? Exactly. Uh, they will be better, well take care of them. I mean, they, they take, they will be well care there because mm -hmm. they, they have nurses, they have yeah. um, medical, AIDS, uh, they have maybe ambulance, um, a, a big, it's a big house, I don't know, so they can walk um, more, um, I don't know, all, because in these places are, cons they are, they are built it, or they, they are meant for all people live there, so it's, it's more easy for them, for example, to walk. So I think in some cases there is, is maybe better yeah. to all people go there. But if you have the opportunity, I mean, it's, it's, it has to be about chances, opportunities, and about who are you as a person. And I don't, I don't, not, I'm not saying that you are a bad person or are you a good person. It's about mm -hmm. a choice. But I think both could be 
a good choice depending on who you are or your situation of what is happening in, in your family. Right. Okay. That, that makes sense uh, because I can see, I could understand um, some of my friends, um, they did not have good relationships with their father and so I think that would be very difficult for some to tell their father, oh yes, come back to um, my house and I'll take care of you if, if there is, you know, always constantly butting heads if they never got along then that would be, that would be very difficult. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so then, yeah. I have some news again. Um, yes. We should be we should be empathetic about this topic. Uh, if we, what would we do if we were to be sent away from home? Mm. We should think that. Yeah. If Seven. you want to be sent away, okay, send your family. But if you don't then behave your parents kind, kindly, instead of making them feel bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a very, very good point, Mehmet. Um, sorry, Peter, were you going to say something? Um, I think this, um, this topic is really uh, controversial because uh, uh, you know, I I, I deeply believe that we should really should uh, look after our parents when they are getting old, but sometimes mm -hmm. uh, they are so old and so ill that we you know we might don't know what to do, how to help them, and sometimes it's necessary to to ask for other for help, <laughs> you know. Uh, I don't know. For example, let's say uh, uh, you, your father or your mother uh, suffer from Alzheimer disease. Mm -hmm. Alzheimer's. And yes. It sometimes might be really difficult for you if you have a good job and you have a, your own family. It sometimes might be really difficult because you know you you have to uh, actually the ho uh, look after. Uh, this person the whole day. Yeah. Hello. Um, I don't know what. <coughs> sorry. Uh, uh, Troy, I must say one thing. I must say one thing. I, uh, for my experience, my wife. Uh, Dead last last year on September for cancer with cancer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear that. So so uh, this story, this hill, this hill, uh, uh, begin uh, uh, was begin at the on September on September in, uh, 2011 2011. And from that that moment till September uh, twelve uh, twenty twelve twenty twelve, we uh, have tried to to heal this this illness at home, but it wasn't it wasn't possible for me to uh, to manage the. The illness of my wife, so I had to have, uh, ask for help. Hello, to, uh, ask for help to, hello. Uh, hello? Mm -hmm. One second. Oh. Uh, um, that's, uh, that's what's that? Uh, right. well. uh, can, can I go on? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead. So I have to uh, ask for help to an institute, and, but they, they, but, but they, he came home to 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 heal to heal my wife to heal my mm -hmm. wife you know it was also possible to take my wife to take my wife to this institute but my I choose 
I choose to uh, to eat my wife my wife mm -hmm. in my home with yes. the, with this person with this person coming in my home you know this was yeah. the other possibility but right but I prefer that they uh, would come uh, to my home in order to In my wife. So I had the okay. possibility: one to take my wife to this institute, and the other to take my wife at home uh, to be cured by this person. I choose the second one. Uh, only I want only this, this, that. Uh, say that yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing that, uh, Vincenzo. That is a very deep. That is a very deep story. I, I know that uh, is a. Uh, um, a topic that you bring up. Um, thank, thank you for my for wife. For my my uh, wife. My wife. My wife preferred to die at at my tomb. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. Uh huh. I do. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing, and everyone, thank you so much for a good debate that we had uh, about a very controversial topic. Um, Everyone's English was exceptional, and I don't say that often. I was very, very impressed with everyone who participated. Um, so thank you again for making it a great class for me, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I uh, hope to see you tomorrow. I'll be teaching some classes then. So take care, everyone. Okay, thank you. 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 Thank you.